Welcome to the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Noah, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Ew. Joining us today, we've got Claire and Peter. And these guys are siblings, so this is gonna be a good one. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Calvin Coolidge from our website. Now, we're going to see how much of it you really remember. Here are your messes for today. Raw eggs, cottage cheese, goo, crazy string, green sand, mud, mayonnaise, baby food, broccoli with oil and vinegar, and a pie in the yes. face. Before we play, Calvin Coolidge was America's 30th president from 1923 to 1929. He was known for being a very quiet man and was even nicknamed Silent Cal. He was elected vice president in 1920 and became president in 1923 when President Harding died in office. When Coolidge ran for president in 1924, his campaign slogan was, keep cool with Coolidge. When he was president, millions of Americans could earn enough money to support their families. They found jobs, bought cars, flew on airplanes, and listened to the radio for the first time. Are you ready to play the game? Yes. You are? Yes. The youngest player goes first. Now everybody get your hands into the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out for the whole entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Let's go, Peter. Here's your first question. One, Calvin Coolidge is the only president from which state? Hint, it's famous for ice cream. Kansas, New Jersey, Wisconsin, or Vermont? Vermont. That is correct. It is Vermont. You know what that means, Claire. Yes. You get the first mess. Oh, yes. Oh, eggs. Ew! Oh, what a sad face. You're not grossed out? It's so gross. All right, second question goes to Claire. Question two. When is Calvin Coolidge's birthday? February 12th, the 4th of July, December 25th, or June 10th? The 4th of July. That is correct, it is the 4th of July. Calvin Coolidge is the only president to share a birthday with the United States. That means your brother gets mess number two. I'm sad. Oh no. God, it's cheese. Oh, oh it's chunky that's too. So gross. That's so gross. Oh, oh it smells gross. Oh my. Ah! Oh. I'm done with that one. Why did it have to happen to me? <laughs> okay. Question number three, Peter. You have a chance at payback for your sister. Which group of people did President Coolidge grant American citizenship to? Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's okay. So now we're giving your sister a chance to answer. Which group of people did President Coolidge grant American citizenship to? Oh no, time's up. The correct answer actually was Native Americans. Coolidge granted US citizenship to Native Americans. He also opposed racism towards black Americans and spoke out in favor of civil rights. That means you both get the mess. I'm fine with Sorry, you. guys. Really? But it's so sticky. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's sticky. I hate that. Yeah, I should put it. <laughs> you like cheese and slime together? No. Cheese I mean, and goo together? No. Put it on your hands. All right. Now your sister's turn. Eggs and goo together. Oh, it's Claire got the color she wanted. <laughs> you like that, Claire? It's so gross. <laughs> Can't even get it out, it's so sticky. It's getting everywhere. God, the cheese is so cold. Claire, please get this one wrong. How are you guys doing? 
I'm fine with the slime, just the raw eggs are so gross. I'm oh not gosh. fine with either. The cottage <laughs> cheese is way too chunky and slime's way too hot on my arm. <laughs> All right, back to Calvin Coolidge. Question four goes to Claire. Even though young Calvin was shy, he was known in high school and college to be good at what activity? Public speaking. That is correct. He was known to be good at public speaking. Which means your brother gets this mess. Huh, I wonder what this is. Crazy string. Well. But I know I'm not gonna like it. Ready? <laughs> it's not as bad as I expected, but um. Why? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You know what that is? No, 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 no. That sound means it's time for a Patriot Pop quiz, which means you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in the Calvin Coolidge Digital Magazine. The twist? You two will be blindfolded for your question and for your messes. Which is the largest state in the USA? Texas, California, Alaska, or Florida? Florida? <gasps> Unfortunately, that is incorrect, which means now Claire has a chance to answer. Which is the largest state in the USA? Texas, California, Alaska, or Florida? Texas. <gasps> that is also incorrect. The correct answer is actually Alaska. <sighs> Since neither of you got it correct, I'm sorry to have to do this. Both of you get the mess. Hmm. Want to take a guess about what your mess is? Green sand, I hope. <gasps> How did you know? I did. I think this one's a fun one, though. Yeah, it doesn't feel that mad. It's not really a mess. It's like playing on the beach. But grosser. It's but mixed with, yeah, cottage cheese. <laughs> It's like oh. playing on a beach with cottage cheese. Wait, do we get? Do I get the mud too? Oh. Do we get the mud? mud? Okay, good. Where did you hear mud from? Oh, when you said it in the beginning of the game show. <laughs> oh, and that was I next to like the sand up. when I, I saw I think I want to keep some for myself. Oh. Okay. All right, Patriot Pop Quiz question two goes to Claire. What country gave the USA the Statue of Liberty as a present? England, Spain, Germany, or France? France. That is correct. France did give the USA the Statue oh of Liberty gosh. as a gift. Sorry, Peter. Mud, again, I know it. It's mud. mud? Yes, it is. All right. Oh. oh. Why? Really feel loved right now. Starting to get competitive here, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Now you can All see. All I see is mud. <laughs> I think this is just dirt and water. Like it's Mine isn't very bad fully. at all, Peter. <laughs> Claire, you only got three. I got like five already. All right, let's see what else you know about Calvin Coolidge. Question five goes to Peter. What job did Calvin Coolidge have before becoming president? Secretary of State, Vice President, Governor of Vermont, or U.S. Senator? Vice President. That is correct. He was Vice President. Coolidge served as Vice President under President Warren G. Harding. Previously, he served as Governor and Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts. Which means your sister gets the mess. The mayonnaise. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Mayonnaise. I agree. Oh, my God. How could you? Uh, you gave me mud. I think we're alone. <laughs> All five. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, one more? One more? One First more. No, no, oh, no, it's Peter. getting stuck. It's so sticky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question six goes to Claire. What decision did President Coolidge make so that Americans would have more money to spend and invest? He lowered taxes. That is correct. Payback. I don't Pay back to your brother? Well, Calvin Coolidge did lower taxes. Coolidge cut taxes in 1924 and again in 1926. Since people were able to keep more of the money they earned, they bought more things. 
the U.S. economy became strong. Sorry, Peter. I think you're a little too old for this food. It's baby food. Oh, baby food. Oh. At least it matches the table. Ew. <laughs> so happy for you. Satisfying. But gross. Oh, it's Prager U orange. This is freezing. The mud's warm for some reason. Mine looks so gross. Okay, you can get your sister back here, okay, Peter? Okay. All right, Probably question number well. seven. A few months after President Coolidge left office, what happened to the stock market? It crashed. That is correct. The stock market did crash, and that led to the Great Depression, which was a really difficult time in our country. Sorry, Claire. That's not that bad, I guess. Small, small, small. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, never mind, Claire. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Oh, we're in the What do you think? You're broccoli first? Yeah, yeah? Okay. The vinegar on That's her arms. That smells oh. gross. Oh. Don't know Olive oil. oil. A little bit on her Ooh. arm. Should I? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, oh. no. Oh. Vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah, on her arm too. No. Claire, this is payback. I'm just saying. Ooh. It actually kind of smells good. Last question goes to Claire. You have a chance to secure your win here. Question eight. Why do you think America was so strong during Coolidge's presidency? Because there was more money. And also, there was airplanes, cars, and radios. That is true. But we're looking for something that was described in the magazine that's a little bit more specific. All right, Peter. Can you repeat the question? Yes, I can. All right. Why do you think America was so strong during Coolidge's presidency? Uh, I, uh, I'm so sorry, you ran out of time. The correct answer is, he trusted the American people to make their own choices. He increased freedom, he didn't like big government, and that's how he made America so strong. Know what that means? Yes, I love the pie. This is my favorite part. Yes, it's mine too. All right, who should go me, first? Me, me. I want to go first. You do? Yeah. Right. I want the one with the most. I want the one right there. Woo! I want that one. Yes, I want that one. Let me get you guys geared up first. Let's go. Wanna go first? Sure. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay, it's a tastes three. good, but oh. <laughs> doesn't feel good. Oh, well, feel can't good. see a thing. <laughs> Here's what we learned. Calvin Coolidge was very shy and quiet, but he was very influential and successful. As president, he believed that small government allowed more Americans to make money and thrive. He supported civil rights and granted U.S. citizenship to Native Americans. Are you ready for the winner? Yes. yes. And the winner is, give me a drum roll, please. Drum roll, drum roll, Claire! Yay! Yay! Here's what you've won, Claire. A proud to be an American medal. That's so cool. It is cool. And a jar full of American coins. But why coins? because our American mottos are printed on all coins. In God we trust, liberty, and e pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. This phrase reminds us that we're all Americans here together, even though we all have different backgrounds. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for playing with us, for being such great sports. Both of you are going home today with gifts from our PragerU store. We hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit PragerU.com slash kids and enjoy all our digital magazines and shows. Now, hands out of the bowl, shake hands. What about a high five? See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.